In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a fine-tune functionality to your workshop. For this project, you'll need a breadboard, two 150K resistors, a 10K potentiometer, a Phillips head screwdriver, and some jumper cables. So as you've noticed, the workshop has a very wide frequency range on the frequency potentiometer, starting from 6 to 8 hertz at the bottom end, all the way up to 16K. It becomes a little difficult to fine-tune. So you can see I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting that perfect A. So what we're going to do is take some of the power provided by the Werkstatt and create a fine tune. First, we need to unplug our Werkstatt. Next, using your Phillips head screwdriver, take out the four screws on the top panel. Once the screws are removed, we can remove the top panel to expose the PCB. We're going to be looking for taps 1 and 2 and taps 9 and 12. Now 1 and 2 provide a negative 9 volts, and 9 and 12 provide a positive 9 volts. Using our jumper cables, we'll run out of each of them. Take both voltages and run them into your breadboard in separate locations. Now this is where we want to be very careful. Make sure you're using a 150K value resistor. This is to make sure that we're sending the right voltage into the VCO linear in to ensure we won't damage the workstop. Use your two 150K resistors. At this point, you should have a negative 9 volt and a positive 9 volt being sent through a 150K resistor. This is where we use our 10K potentiometer. Ensure that your negative and positive 9 volts are on opposite sides of the potentiometer. We'll be pulling the voltage we need for the Werkstatt from the center pin. Now we can run our voltage out of the center pin of the potentiometer into the VCO linear input. We'll plug our jumper into the middle pin and plug the other end of the jumper into the VCO linear in. At this point, we need to double check that our resistor values and our connections are correct. Because if we're sending the wrong amount of voltage into that VCO linear in, or if we're connecting our negative and positive 9 volts in an incorrect way, we could possibly damage the board. Now we can plug our workshop back in. And now that the fine tune circuit is properly installed, I'll try and reach that A. Once I get close, I can actually turn this potentiometer on our fine tune. Before I do that, I'm going to set the envelope generator off so I have a constant tone to make it easier to tune. So as you can see, with the fine tune circuit installed, the tuning of the Werkstatt becomes more accurate. a few discrete components, we're able to increase the accuracy of our VCO. If this is a modification you'd like easier access to, we're providing 3D printer files online to print your own enclosure. These will fit your breadboard and components perfectly. All parts lists, fritzing models, and 3D printer files are available online at virksch.workshop.com. Thanks, and we look forward to seeing what you create.